What up, everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Martin Garden. You can follow me on Twitch if you ever want to see me live. Anyway, let's get down to business. I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to play the new ROM hack of Ocarina of Time, uh, Dawn and Dusk. Um, so all you have to do is download an emulator, uh, have the game, um, I mean the original game, like Ocarina of Time, and have the patch, like the disk drive ROM hack, on your uh, computer. So links are in the description below. Uh, I already set everything up over here. So this is what you do. You go uh, and put everything like in one map, all of the files below. You open up Project 64, which is an um, emulator of the Nintendo 64. And then what you do is you go to uh, options and settings. And then you press 64DD over here. And then here uh, in the American Retail 64DD IPL ROM path, uh, you choose the 64DD IPL US MJR.N64 uh, file. So that file is also in the description below. All files are in the description below. So you select that file and you press apply and OK. Then you go to the file over here so to the file section in the in the bar above here and then um you open up this open combo uh thing you press open combo so what we're going to do here is like combine the o original ocarina of time with the uh with the rom hack patch so you open up the original ocarina of time um, you can find that somewhere online. You know what to do. You know, you know. I can't link to that Nintendo. Sorry, Mwah. I will. I, I don't mean any harm. Come on, man. <laughs> anyway, you just um, open up that Ocarina of Time file, and then you you get another screen, and then you have to uh, then you have to like select the file that you want to patch onto the original Ocarina of Time ROM. So that's the Dawn Dusk one over here. It's called EZLE uh, Dawn Dusk dot NDD. And there you go. It's playable. I have a GameCube controller over here. I think should work. So if you have a Mayflash adapter uh, or something. Okay, wait one sec. I'll show you. So if you have a Mayflash adapter or original GameCube adapter, you can like put that, uh, you can like hook it up to your PC. And then here in Ocarina of Time, uh, in Ocarina of Time, in Project 64, you press options and you go to configure controller plugin. And here you can uh, like use this then to like do the digital pad, you know, left, right down whatever kind of settings you want you can do it over there and important uh the analog stick setting over here i always use 100 percent range and uh i uncheck the real n64 range box why because it makes moving around like very very smooth the original n64 had a little bit of issues with with the with the with the stick so the emulator kind of fixes that so if you if you're not like a speedrunner or whatever and you Want to make things a little bit easier instead of having like the OG N64 uh, movement, which is a bit buggy, if you ask me. Um, I'd recommend putting the range 100% and unchecking the real N64 range box. I also do that with Mario 64 and stuff, and it just makes moving around a lot easier. Anyway, you press save. Cool. And you can also adjust the aspect ratio if you want. So let's just... I'm gonna type in my name. And then I'm gonna show you how to make the screen bigger. <coughs> there was a bit of a bit of a lag over there, I don't know why. <laughs> anyway, it works. Um as you can see, this is the ROM hack. So you go to options. You go to graphics plugin, and then here you have the full screen resolution tab. 
and then you can just uh my screen is like 4k if i do it 4k it's gonna like take up the whole screen i think but let's see what happens if i do that though uh yeah so i can't really capture full screen right now wait i just want uh the windowed resolution sorry so if you want to so you can do it in full screen if you want, and then you can also adjust the the the, the frame rates and stuff to sixty hertz. Do it. <laughs> so sixty hertz is is dope. It's, it's so you can also uh, do some anti-aliasing filtering, whatever. So it all looks a, a lot better. So it all depends on your computer and stuff, but it's not like it's it's that hard. So the windowed resolution. Um, I'll just wait. Okay, I'll just make it like full HD for the. For the example, see, so you can like make your windowed resolution a lot bigger. Let's see if we can get it even bigger, by the way. This is the biggest. Yeah. So you can do it like this, or you can also do like full screen. Um, my, my screen is 4K, so it still looks a little bit small, but you can also just press Alt Enter and it will go full screen. And then it will uh, use this full screen aspect ratio over here, this resolution. So it's a bit hard for me to capture right now because I'm also like capturing this video and it's a little bit buggy. But if I just use these settings uh, in 4K over here and then the refresh rate 60 hertz and you put filtering on and whatever, it's it's freaking insane. You can enable VSync uh, yeah, and... and and nice so tropic filtering i don't really know what that is but yeah <laughs> anyway you can make the graphics a lot better than an original n64 and yeah that's it guys that's how you do it and um if you want to see me play that game head over to twitch dot tv slash martin garden life i stream a lot try to stream almost every single day so hit that follow button would be dope if you want to follow me on mixer you can also do that it's mixer.com slash mg i play a lot of rom hacks i play a lot of smash play a lot of mario maker and i hope to see you around if you have any more questions check out my discord uh it's a good community there are a lot of people over there um so yeah if you have any questions questions about streaming questions about something else if you want to ask me anything just let me know you can come to the discord send me a private message or anything i'll be there for you and enjoy the rom hack and um yeah that's it if you have any suggestions for more tutorials let me know in the comments below and i'll do my best okay see ya i'm out